Alrighty, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be looking at how to get some Lego sets into Unreal. Uh, should be a bit fun. Uh, so obviously I had a the Lego Star Destroyer in Unreal before, so I thought I'd make a little tutorial on how I did that and how you can do your own stuff. Um, so we're going to need a few extra plug programs. Uh, we're going to need one called MLCAD, uh, which is like a Lego design program. Uh, you're going to need a Blender plugin. Uh, and we're going to need Unreal. I'm going to use Unreal 5, but it's up to you which Unreal vote, whether you use 4 or 5. Um, I will link MLCAD and the plugin for Blender in the video description. So, now, if we have a look at MLCAD, if I can, here it is. Alright, this is like a AutoCAD for Lego, which is quite an amusing uh, thought in my opinion. Uh, so you, in here you've got like a bajillion different bricks and we can build whatever we want. Um, there is also a wonderful catalogue of pre-built models. Uh, as you can see here, uh, if I go out, here we go, so Lego City, Creator, Lego Land, uh, Pirates, Simpsons, Star Wars, all of these awesome things. So uh, I'm going to go Creator and I'm just going to have a look at, not Creator, sorry, the modular buildings, there we go. Uh, let us grab a random one, um, one up pet shop, okay, alright, cool, ta-da, so now we have a Lego pet shop, classic sets, uh, I wouldn't actually know, I don't own this one, never owned one, never been privileged enough to own one of these Lego sets. So once you've either built your model uh, in this one or found a model you like and done whatever changes you want to do in this program, uh, make sure it's saved as the LDR file and basically we can pop over to Blender and import this as a model. So inside Blender, here it is, we are in Blender 3.0, uh, I have the plugin installed. So what I can do is I can go File, Import and down the bottom here we have the LDRAW file. So if I go to Documents and then LDRAW Models, uh, I can go straight ahead and grab wherever they are, Modular Buildings, what do we say, Pet Shop. Alrighty, so before we import it, a few things to keep in mind. Uh, we need to give it uh, basically the parts library, as that's how it turns them into uh, models. Uh, so make sure you download that. I'll p make sure there's a link to how to install them correctly. Uh, we can In here we can do uh, high resolution, low resolution, or regular resolution. We can say whether we want Lego brick, Lego logo on bricks or not. The scale, da 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 da. I'm going to leave everything else. I'm going to change this to auto smooth instead of edge split. I'm going to leave everything else as is and click import. Now just wait a second. That is finally imported. So now we have the Lego model as a 3D model. These are all, uh, you know, vertices and what have you. The classic way 3D modeling works. Uh, so if you need to make any alterations to the models, uh, now would be the chance to. Otherwise, we can just go ahead and continue our little journey. So what I want to do is export this out of Blender as an FBX. Uh, I'm going to save it on the desktop. This is called Pet Shop. Like so, uh, in Blender's export settings for FBX, I just want to make sure instead of normals only, I have face. That'll make sure it carries across the normals of the model. Hit export, shouldn't take nearly as long to export as it did to import. Alright, now that it's exported, we can pop over to Unreal. Now, you're probably, your first instinct in Unreal is to just drag the FBX onto the content browser or hit import here and be done. However, I recommend not doing that. Uh, instead, we're going to create a photo folder called Pet Shop. Okay, like so. And we're going to import into the level instead. Now, the reason we do that, instead of just dumping it straight in here, is because uh, if we import it into the level instead, we will bring across all of the... Um, we'll bring across all of the instance data. So rather than having a hundred of the exact same Lego brick, which is terrible for performance and going to be a nightmare if you need to change materials and such, uh, if we import into the level instead, it'll instance it and we'll just have one model um, that is then spread across with different transforms in the world instead. 
So to do that, we go File and we go Import into Level. I'm then going to choose the FBX, which is the Pet Shop one here, and I'm going to choose Pet Shop as where it's going to dump all the models when it imports it. Now, we get this dialog box, which gives us a few options. We can say how we want it, so whether we want it to import into a blueprint that then gets put into the scene, uh, which works perfectly for our case here. But if we wanted it to just create it in the level or create one actor in the level with a bunch of components, we can choose those options as well. Have a few options for how we import things. Uh, under static meshes, I'm going to make sure we are importing the normals. Uh, and in materials, we can choose whether we want to import or um, not import import all of these materials. Same thing here, we can untick if we don't want to import something in here. Now I'm going to hit import and wait, as you see it's going to import 2000 things. Alrighty, so now it is finished importing, it'll automatically open up the blueprint with the model in it. Uh, we've got to wait a bit because it's building the uh, various things, so mesh distance fields for the lumen lighting, cards for the content browser and compiling shaders. Uh, but we now have a pet shop here, the pet shop here as a cool little blueprint can then get rid of that so uh still compiling some shaders apparently but that is how we get some lego models into unreal there we go all right so it took a little bit to compile and save everything but now that it is finished i should be able to move these about these blueprints act strange. Very strange. I can't tell, there we go. I can't seem to move the actual blueprint itself. I have to move sort of one of the further down parts of it and I'm not 100% sure why. I'm gonna, I'm assuming Unreal related bug. Uh, but this works, so I'll just leave it at that. So go across, and let's click these parts together. Done. Perfect. So now we have a bit of a Lego town being built. So, obviously, we can then have a look in the content browser. Uh, you'll notice there is only one of every part. Uh, it Currently, it does split it off into the different colors, so you'll see multiple parts that are... See, so here's a blue hat and here's a white hat. Um, you could go through and sort of, um, like if we right click it and we go asset actions and then replace references and then consolidate. What we can do is we can actually delete the spare one and combine them together. It just means you would have to go through and uh, sort of change the color either in the world outline or in the blueprint. Uh, so you could get extra you know, a little extra out of that if you wanted to go through. However, yeah, we only have one of each color, so like we only have one Lego hand, you know, only one of these brick, this brick, even though I'm sure that this set has more than one of those bricks. Uh, then we have all our materials down here. So, this could definitely be used, uh, better materials, uh, better shading. Uh, however, that's not for this video. This video is just a quick look at how I got mine in in the first place. Uh, all I did to the Star Wars one was change some materials to emissive and change the roughness slightly to make them a little shinier. Other than that, I didn't do anything. There was no fancy PBR or anything on them. But just like that, you can get uh, some wonderful lego town going in unreal and with pretty decent performance there you go still hitting around the 80 mark even though these are consistent of a lot of bricks and a lot of geometry that is probably not needed uh so that is pretty cool oh he's like painting hmm oh there's a no i now i'm just curious with these lego sets um Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.